So the question is, why am I a United Methodist? It's a great question and I've been pondering it since Eric asked me to respond to this question. Why am I a United Methodist? Why do I choose to stay? It's where I've spent my whole life. And as a child, I didn't have a choice, but certainly I've chosen over and over as an adult to stay United Methodist. So it isn't, in fact, my heritage. It's where I was born and raised. It's where I remember going to church as a child with my parents, sometimes with my grandparents, mm -hmm. where I went to Sunday school, where I learned the music, where I was struck by the awesomeness of the sanctuary, where whenever we moved around the country or traveled to explore the country and we would go to a new church on Sunday morning, in a new place, that at least would be familiar. So there was, there's for me a familiarity about it that's meaningful to me. So it's, it is my heritage. It also feels like home to me in a sense, which is, which is a blessing and also a challenge. Home is, is not all, all roses. There's always, though, opportunity for change and growth. It is, in fact, as a church, an institution. It's a human institution, and that's been frustrating to me over the years. But always, as a United Methodist, something of what I hope for, something of how my values are reflected, values of inclusiveness and grace and welcome and growth and learning and possibility and change. We talk about grace, sanctifying grace and that moving on toward perfection. So we're always looking forward in that sense of hope and possibility mm. in, in looking forward. I think also for me, one of the distinctive things about the United Methodist Church is the Wesleyan quadrilateral. I've always loved teaching confirmation class because I enjoy teaching this part in particular. That Wesleyan quadrilateral are, are guidelines for authority, scripture and tradition and reason and experience. In, in no other tradition do we have that kind of, of guideline? The ways in which those four elements, so to speak, inform each other and speak to one another. And in confirmation classes, I often ask kids to choose an, an issue that they wanted to address, that they were wrestling with, or struggling with, or asking about, and to say, take that issue and then look at it through the lens of the Wesleyan quadrilateral. What does scripture have to say about this? What does tradition have to say about this? What does reason have to say about this? And what does your experience have to say about this? The Wesleyan quadrilateral, I think, is just so rich in the guidance that it gives us in all the complex, complicated issues of our day, of our time. And the uniqueness of that is one of the things that, that I cherish about being United Methodist. So it has something to do with my heritage. It has something to do with being at home. It has something to do with hope and looking forward with the values that we claim for ourselves at this point. So thanks for asking. I look forward to hearing what other people have to say as well as we share our stories.